this is a video before the actual video starts and i just want to let you guys know that i am going to be ripping all of this off again sadly because i didn't do enough research before and this isn't really a good thing for headers it's a good thing for like exhaust downpipes and stuff but not for manifolds because manifolds get a lot hotter than the actual downpipe and if you let the header bake in itself and get way too hot which is basically what this heat wrap does the header won't last very long sorry not header the turbo manifold whatever won't last very long and it will corrode and it will get a lot weaker and it'll crack and stuff so people say that a thousand miles and it starts messing their manifolds up and i really don't want to buy another manifold because of some dumb wrap that i could have taken off before so it looks cool and all and i have all that footage i spent so long doing this so i'm gonna upload it anyways just because i think it looks cool but besides that i'm not gonna run it and i don't recommend for you guys to do it at all either because if you look it up there's really no benefit for it and i guess i'm paying the price for it i got to make a video out of it so i don't really care as much as if i didn't but don't do this but you can still watch the video if you <laughs> if you're interested in how i did this after seeing how the manifold fit in the engine bay i realized that it was really close to everything like the the drain the turbo sits right here and then the drain goes basically touching the manifold through there the coupler sits really close to here the wastegate has all the wires for the uh for the ignition right there so i want to try and wrap it with this heat wrap i have two of them because i don't know how much i'm gonna need but then i also have this fire sleeve so that i can wrap the drain in it and hopefully the drain won't burn because it does get really close right there so i've never done this before i'm gonna wet it because this type isn't the expensive $50 per roll type so I'm gonna wet it and I think I'm gonna start with this one right here because it's a nice practice and then work my way down so before I actually go ahead and wet it I'm gonna get a rough estimate of how many loops it's gonna be one two twelve about 13 loops and then the size of the loop about that long so 13 12 13 I don't know if that's right I can't say that I'm very positive I can't say I'm too confident about that so I'm gonna cut this little edge that's fraying off right now and I'm gonna tape it so that it stops fraying and doesn't keep happening. Okay, so just cause I'm not very confident on, about that, I'm gonna start, I guess I can pull it all the way through. And I marked it with the Sharpie too right here it's hard as hell to see but now that this one is taped i'm not gonna lose any length to it fraying so so what i'm gonna do like this is so loose all through here but i do have it very tight like it's there 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 i have a lot of overlapping so i'm gonna take like a foot off of the whole total length and then I'm gonna cut it and then wet it and then wrap it from there. So I'm gonna cut it right where my thumb is and hope that that wasn't a mistake. It's been in there for like five minutes. You see it's all dark now compared to how it is before. And I guess I can just start with this all soaking wet. I'm gonna trim this tape off now. And this stuff is fucked. 
So I think what people say to do is make like a loop like this so it gets locked into place or something. And then you just start. There is a seam that I saw in Eric the car guy's video. I think the seam that he was talking about is this one up here. So that compared to here. So I'm gonna put this side down like that and then wrap it up from here. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but got it done. So now I have this thing. Okay, so I got it cut and then make sure it's fully on the wrap. I'm gonna just do the same thing as last time. One, two, three, ten, eleven. This is one, two, three, ten, eleven. It takes a lot longer, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time where I'm gonna just feed it through here and then run it back so that I'd rather lose like half a foot than lose all of this so at the end here there's a lot of overlap and a lot of wrinkling but that's why i want to get it wet down here there's about that much so i think i'll be good if i cut it where i previously marked it right there so if you are going to be doing this like how i'm doing it with the testing it one time before so you know you do the loops so you can know like a rough estimate how long you want it to be and then wrap it around again to make sure, just cause it's not worth losing all that over some dumb mistake like that. So you definitely wanna make sure you tape up the ends. You can use electrical tape, whatever kind of tape. Actually, yeah, even duct tape, cause you're gonna be cutting it off after anyway, so. Now, let it sit for a few. So when I come around here to do the collector, it's gonna be a little bit weird because the wastegate tube is right there. So I'm gonna put a clamp on here and right there you can see that I can't go anymore. So I'm just gonna hope for the best with when I wrap this, I can get at least one through there and like sneak it down through over there like that. So I actually kind of messed up on this one. You do want to go start from here and then work it this way so that you don't have to use the clamp up here and it'll kind of just lock itself in there. Cause right here, it's not really necessary for me to have that clamp cause every time you wrap over it, it kind of locks itself into place. So from here on out, I'm going to do that. And maybe I'll take that off once I wrap around it. I don't know, we'll see. But Oh, 
cool to see like I can already see right there I should have done this double up until at least here and I can do that one separately but hold on I might be able to because I have this much left I'm gonna see if I can do this double and if I can do this double I'm gonna start right here do that and then double that So I can do it like that, which I think that's what I'm going to have to do. The back side there will be good. Need it to go a little bit right there so that the overlapping can come in from here over through there. And I don't want that to be shown right there. So I have that sitting right there. I'm going to take the other one. Before I clamp this one down, I want to make sure that everything is good first. Ooh I think that's good. Got it all clamped up now. And that's what it looks like so far. The back side, there's a lot of fraying over here, which I don't know if that's gonna like somehow untangle, but I put two clamps on there. I couldn't put one all the way at the top because of the bend, but up here it doesn't need one because the wrap locks itself in when you start from the top bottom. So if I would've started top bottom here, I wouldn't need one up here, but now, I'm going to do these separately because there's a decent little gap between them. So I'm going to start off by doing it separate. Kind of how I did this one and hope that I can actually finish that one by itself. One thing that already really pisses me off. I put the seam out on this one and then I forgot about it on these. So <laughs> I'm sure you can't unsee it now because the seam is there. That's annoying, but... I'm gonna keep putting it so that it comes out like this with the seam down. So this is the seam right here. It's kind of hard to see. I can't even find it sometimes, but if I do it like this, it'll be showing. those frays sticking out so I just tucked it under like at the beginning <laughs> I should have started on this side fuck this side looks crazy yo. I should have done it on this side because this is kind of what you're gonna see fuck that looks horrible <laughs> why am I making the bottom all pretty this side looks decent but <laughs> oh god fuck it this has been taking so damn long so i just try to get as much done and now i'm finally on the last runner all i'm gonna do to this side is i'm gonna start up at the top collector and then i'm gonna work my way down to the bottom so that if i start up here i won't have to put a big metal tie around there It'll just hold itself in and only need a metal tie at the bottom. So I'm going to run it. There's going to be a little bit of exposed header, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to really be much difference. Most of the keeping in aspect will actually be from all of these runners. So, so the plan is run it like that. And then on the back side, I want to have this end on the runner so that I can then wrap this like the rest of as I'm wrapping the runner I can go around and 
pinch this under kind of like that so like i said got it through there and then and that's where the wrap starts and with this one i'll just cover it right there and that's locked into place this is going to be showing a little bit but i don't care <laughs> this side doesn't look the best but whatever so i'm just gonna do all this off camera real quick finally after like four hours or something i don't even know i'm so delusional after doing this for so long so here's the final result finally six hours later this is the only thing that's annoying but it's not really gonna make a difference realistically this is the bottom side which if i were to redo this i would definitely would have focused on the top side because this side isn't as pretty as that side but it'll get the job done so with the last two long runners i had this much to spare i had them a lot longer i don't know what happened <laughs> i'm just tired but I had two 50 foot rolls and this is what's left so i'm sure this is going to be enough to do the wastegate dump this is it right here ordered straight from china and welds aren't bad and it fits on to the wastegate perfectly so and then this i'm gonna use for the downpipe so with two 50 foot rolls you will be fine this is a rapid spool industry good and tight 24 valve e30 swap manifold 24 valve in an e30 you know so it was a cool thing it was a cool experience but i honestly never want to do this again this was horrible 